Good morning, student. So today this is our fourth lecture on a gravitation, and today's topic of discussion is quite simple. That is potential energy and gravitational potential energy. Already in your lower classes, that is in eighth, ninth, or tenth class, you had studied that potential energy. What do you mean by a potential energy? Potential energy. of an object it is nothing but the energy acquired by an object which it depends on on which factor potential energy will depends potential energy of an object it depends on what the position of an object or in other word you can say potential energy of an object it depends on the configuration of an object position of object means to what height that object is lifted from the surface of earth or configuration means what how the particles are distributed in that object greater the height to which that object is lifted greater will be the potential energy possessed by it smaller the height to which that object is lifted smaller is the potential energy possessed by it in other word you can define the potential energy potential energy is see here as far as object is concerned that object may be any material object if that object is lying on the surface of earth what is the potential energy possessed by that object remember all the object which are lying on the surface of earth will have a minimum potential energy called as a gravitational potential energy and the gravitational potential energy of the system which includes both object and earth it is equal to zero on the surface of earth so here onward whenever we are talking about gravitational potential energy you must remember that gravitational potential energy on the surface of earth is minimum and that is equal to what zero why it is zero see here object and earth object and earth which force exists between them gravitational force of attraction is there earth is exerting a force of gravity on the object object will also exert a force of gravity on the earth so because earth and object they are bound together due to gravitational force of attraction and whenever object is lying on the surface of earth you remember that its gravitational potential energy is minimum or it is equal to what zero now in order to lift the object when somebody lift the object to certain height it means we have to do some work against the gravitational force acting on that object so gravitational force is what it is one of the conservative force acting on that object and we must have to do some work against the conservative force acting on an object and that work is stored in that object in the form of potential energy so greater the height to which that object is lifted greater will be the amount of work that must be done against that gravitational force means greater is the potential energy acquired by that object so potential energy can be defined as potential energy is what it is the work done potential energy is the work done work done against what work done against the conservative force remember sometimes there might be more than one conservative force which will act on that object so the potential energy is worked done against the conservative force or forces sometimes more than one force will be there so work done against the conservative force in achieving in achieving certain configuration in achieving certain 
configuration of the given system certain configuration of the given system is called potential energy amount of work done against the conservative force or forces in order to achieve a certain configuration of the given system is called potential energy of that system is called what potential energy of that system now you know that every object in the universe it has a tendency to acquire the state of minimum potential energy what is the tendency of every object every system has a tendency to acquire the state of minimum potential energy means if we are having some object look at this pen and if i just release it when i will lift that pen to a certain height it means that pen acquires a potential energy greater the height to which this pen is lifted greater will be the potential energy possessed by this pen but as soon as this pen is released it will fall on the surface of earth why because object has a tendency to acquire the state of minimum potential energy means every system configure itself to acquire minimum potential energy means every system trying to change the state of configuration and whenever system has to change the state of configuration work must be done work must be done against the conservative force which is acting on that object which is acting on that object now let us consider that we are having a spring quite simple example a spring in its natural state suppose here we are having a rigid support to which that spring is suspended so long as spring in its natural state potential energy of spring is minimum so long as that spring is in what natural state but when i apply the force to possibility that spring it may undergoes a stretching effect or when force is applied in opposite direction that spring it may get compressed so what is the effect of applying force when a force is applied to a spring either that spring will stretch or that spring will compress remember so long as spring is in natural state what is the conservative force acting on a spring you know that spring is acted upon by elastic restoring force elastic restoring force so the conservative force acting on a spring it is elastic restoring force and when force is applied to a spring in order to compress it or in order to stretch it it means we are doing a work against the conservative force which is elastic restoring force and what is the effect of doing a work as a result of doing a work against the conservative force like restoring force the distance between see here when spring is stretch we may have a situation like this so initially particles are x distance apart later on particles they are x plus delta x distance apart or there might be a situation spring is compressed so particles are x minus delta x apart so when force is applied to a spring work is done against the conservative force which is restoring force and what is the effect of this work done that the distance between particles either it will increase or decrease means there occurs a change in configuration of a spring means particles in a spring distance between them will change means there is change in the configuration of the system 
so that change in configuration of the system what happens when a spring is compressed or when a spring is what stretched we are doing a work against the restoring force so potential energy of that spring is increased in both the cases whether it is stretched or whether it is what compressed because the configuration of spring will change or the distance between the particles of the spring either it get increased or it get decreased in either cases potential energy of the spring will change potential energy there is an increase in potential energy of the system now the second example is that suppose we are having an object which is lying on the surface of the earth we may have an object which is lying on the surface of the earth this is our planet earth and over the surface of that earth suppose we are having some object that object is in contact with the surface of the earth remember when object is in contact with the surface of earth means potential energy of an object actually potential energy of system of an object together with earth is zero and that potential energy is known as gravitational potential energy so you remember that whenever object is lying on the surface of earth gravitational potential energy of system of object and earth together is always zero or potential energy is minimum on the surface of the earth potential energy is what minimum on the surface of the earth now between the earth and any object there exists a gravitational force of attraction they are bound together with the help of what the force of gravity means earth will always try to attract that object towards its center means that object is continuously acted upon by gravitational force exerted by earth on that object object will also exert a gravitational force on the earth but that is very small as compared to that of what force of attraction exerted by earth on that object so because that object is bound object and earth they are bound together by gravitational force and suppose i will lift the object so that object acquires a new configuration you can lift the object to a certain height let that object is lifted to certain height so that it acquires a new configuration or it will acquires a new stable position and that object is suppose there are two possibility that object is stationary you can keep that object stationary just by holding that object in your hand look at this i can lift the pen from the surface of earth to a height see what happens that this object is stationary because the force acting on the object they are balanced now what are the forces acting on the object one of the force is what gravitational force and the other force is static force of friction that exists between what the fingers of my hand and that object so static force of friction and gravitational force they are acting opposite in direction they are equal in magnitude then only the force acting on that object will becomes zero and that object is what stationary that object is what stationary now the second possibility that from the planet earth you can lift the object and you can place that object on the top of the table in this case also as that object has changed its state of configuration means it acquires a potential energy that object here also stationary why because the two forces which are acting on the object one force is what the gravitational force acting downward and that table surface of table will also exert a normal reaction on that object 
whose the magnitude is same as that of magnitude of what the gravitational force equal to its weight so here the two forces one is its weight other is normal reaction they will balance each other so the resultant force on the object will become zero that object remains stationary but that object is acquiring what that object acquires a new position it means there is a net gain in potential energy whether that object is placed on the top of the table or whether that object is hold stationary in our hand at a certain height above the surface of earth now in both the cases here whether this is the situation or object is hold into the hand in both the cases the capacity of that object to acquire the kinetic energy is increased why because there is net gain in the potential energy remember greater the height to which object is raised greater will be the potential energy acquired by it means greater is the capacity of that object to acquire a kinetic energy so remember that whenever object is lifted from the surface of earth work must be done against the conservative force which is the gravitational force of attraction between the object and that earth and that work done against the conservative force in order to change what the configuration of the system so that work done is stored in that object in the form of a potential energy in the form of a potential energy so you can just come to the conclusion that whenever object is lifted to certain height or after lifting it to certain height it may be kept on the top of the table in both the cases object remains stationary but in both the cases that object acquires object as it changes its state of configuration state of object changes its what object changes its state of configuration means potential energy is stored in that object as a result of which its capacity to acquire kinetic energy is increased greater the height to which object is raised greater will be the potential energy stored in it so you remember that work done work done on the object against what work done on the object against the conservative force work done on the object against the conservative force if i say conservative force is f and that object undergoes a displacement dx bar then the increase in potential energy of the object is du bar so dw equal to f into dx equal to du that is work done against the conservative force work done on the object against the conservative force is equal to increase in potential energy of the system see here the two sides f into dx bar is equal to du f into dx bar is equal to what du what is this f into dx bar it is the work done against the conservative force on the object and that is equal to increase in potential energy of the system remember whenever we are talking about potential energy potential energy is always defined for the system in case of object and earth what system is system includes both object and earth potential energy of an isolated object in a gravity free space in absence of any conservative force has no meaning listen carefully what i am saying that whenever we are talking about potential energy we are put, potential energy is defined always for a system you cannot define potential energy of an object you cannot define potential energy of an isolated object 
kept in what kept in gravity free space in absence of what in absence of any conservative force that is gravitational force it has no meaning it has what no meaning so whenever we talk about potential energy you always remember that potential energy is defined for the system which includes both object as well as what earth both object as well as earth so when object is under the action of conservative force f so in order to displace that object through a displacement dx bar work must be done that work done is f into dx and that work done is stored in that object in the form of potential energy so potential increase in potential energy of system is equal to work done against the conservative force on that object on that object let us now derive an expression for gravitational potential energy now you know very well that if we are having an object of mass m and the mass of earth is capital m if i say that fg represent the gravitational force of attraction that exists between earth and object of mass m so in order to lift the object against the gravitational force work must be done so that work done in lifting the object against the gravitational force through a displacement dr bar let dw represent the amount of work that must be done against the gravitational force in order to lift the object through a displacement dr bar then this work done in lifting the object through a displacement dr bar against the gravitational force it appears in the form of increase in potential energy of system of object and that of earth if i say that do represent increase in potential energy of the system which consists of what object and that of earth that increase in potential energy of the system it must be equal to what amount of work done against the gravitational force fg in order to displace the object through a displacement dr means we will have a situation du equal to minus fg into dr where du represent the net increase in potential energy of system while minus fg into dr it is the amount of work done against the gravitational force to lift the object through a displacement dr bar through a displacement what dr bar now why a negative sign we had taken we had taken a negative sign because work is done against the gravitational force work is done against the gravitational force now let us consider some intermediate state that particle or object of mass m is lying initially at a position ri ri is the initial position of particle and we lift the particle from the initial position ri to the final position rf in order to lift the object against the gravitational force from the initial position ri to the final position rf the net change in its potential energy delta u it can be obtained by integrating du by integrating this expression number 1 so the net change in potential energy when object is lifted from the initial position ri to the final position what rf against the gravitational force can be obtained by integrating the expression integral of du limit is what from ri to rf and that is equal to minus of integral of ri to rf fg 
into d r bar here fg is a gravitational force and we know that gravitational force fg it can be written as a minus of g m m divided by what g m m divided by r square into r cap see here r cap represent a unit vector r cap is a unit vector and this unit vector is acting along the direction of position vector it acts along the direction of position vector remember for the system of earth of mass m and object of mass small m this is earth of mass m and we may have an object of mass small m position vector is pointing from center of earth to the object while gravitational force is acting towards the center of earth from the object means gravitational force and position vector they are oppositely directed and because here unit vector is acting along position vector r bar so that's why this gravitational force is written as minus gmm divided by r square into r cap because vector f and position vector r they are oppositely directed so remember gravitational force will always act towards the center from the object while position vector will always act from the center of the earth towards the position of the object so let us put the value of gravitational force in the expression for change in potential energy of a particle so we will get that delta u is equal to integral of du ri to rf equal to minus of minus g m m divided by r square r cap into d r bar now look at this r cap and d r bar r cap and d r bar both are pointing in what same direction position vector that is d r bar r cap and d r bar because somewhere here we are having position of r i somewhere here with position of r f means here d r bar and r cap both are pointing in what same direction so you can replace r cap into d r bar by simple d r bar that is magnitude so this is equal to now integral of du what is integral of du u so u and the limit is r i to r f and that is equal to minus of minus it becomes plus limit is r i to r f so it is integration of r i to r f g m m divided by r square into d r r cap into d r bar it is replaced simply by what d r because both r cap and d r bar they are pointing in the same direction now u represent the potential energy and limit is r i to r f so upper limit minus lower limit so u which is a function of r f minus u which is a function of r i that is final potential energy minus initial potential energy is equal to g m m it is a constant and we are left with integration of d r divided by r square limit is r i to r f those who are the student preparing for need they must know that integration of x raised to n into dx limit a to b is always equal to x raised to what n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and you can write the limit upper limit b lower limit a so that becomes equal to x raised to put upper limit x raised to b plus 1 upon b plus 1 minus put lower limit x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so this is how you can solve any integral x raised to n into dx so apply the same rule here 
सो दिस चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी फाइनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी माइनस इनिशियल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू जी एम एम कॉन्स्टेंट टेक इट आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रेशन वट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आर अपॉन आर स्क्वेयर इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आर अपॉन आर स्क्वेयर कैन आई राइट आर स्क्वेयर इज आर रेस टू माइनस टू वन अपॉन आर स्क्वेयर इट कैन बिटर इज वॉट आर रेस टू माइनस टू इंटू डी आर लिमिट इज आर आई टू आर एफ सो दिस इज इक्वल टू आर रेस टू माइनस टू प्लस वन अपॉन माइनस टू प्लस वन एंड लोअर लिमिट आर आई अपर लिमिट इज वॉट आर एफ सो जी एम एम इंटू वॉट यू कैन राइट इन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आर अपॉन आर स्क्वेर इट कैन बी रिटर्न इज वॉट आर रेस टू माइनस टू प्लस वन अपॉन माइनस टू प्लस वन लिमिट इज आर आई टू आर एफ ऑल इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू प्लस वन माइनस वन टेक इट आउट साइड सो माइनस जी एम एम आर रेस टू माइनस टू प्लस वन मीन्स इट इज आर रेस टू माइनस वन एंड दैट कैन बी टर्न इज वॉट वन अपॉन आर लिमिट इज आर आई टू आर एफ सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस जी एम एम अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट अपर लिमिट इज वॉट आर एफ वन अपॉन आर एफ माइनस लोअर लिमिट इज वॉट आर आई वन अपॉन आर आई टेक दिस नेगेटिव साइड इन साइड सो इट बिकम्स जी एम एम इंटू वन अपॉन आर आई माइनस वन अपॉन आर एफ एंड दैट विल गिव यू फाइनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी माइनस इनिशियल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी दैट इज चेंज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी नाउ हियर सी वेन एवर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एट सर्टन पॉइंट लेट अस कंसिडर लेट अस सी हियर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज नॉट डिफाइंड एब्सोल्यूटली here absolute potential energy is not defined so let us see that initially if the initial position of particle particle is initially suppose at infinity means if the initial position of particle is ri equal to infinity then what is the gravitational force acting on particle initially gravitational force acting on particle initially it is gmm upon r square that r i square is what infinity square 1 by infinity is 0 so the initial gravitational force acting on particle is 0 and remember that point at which the gravitational force acting on particle or acting on object is 0 its gravitational potential energy is also taken to be what zero so initially for uh, when particle is at a position ri equal to infinity gravitational force acting on particle is zero means initial potential energy of a particle which is equal to what gmm upon ri it becomes equal to what zero because ri equal to what infinity see here Final potential energy minus initial potential energy, so minus G M M upon R I. R I is equal to infinity means initial potential energy equal to what? Zero. Now let particle is finally taken to a position R F equal to R. Initially, particle is at a position R I equal to infinity where the gravitational force acting on particle is zero. means the initial potential energy of particle is what zero and that particle is taken to a final position where rf is equal to r when rf is equal to what r then the potential energy of a particle at that final position where we want to find out its potential energy that final potential energy of a particle see here rf is equal to r when we take rf is equal to r gravitational potential energy and that is equal to gmm divided by what r gmm divided by r and that should be taken with what a negative sign see here gmm divided by so you can find it gmm into 1 upon r i is infinity minus 1 upon rf is what r 1 by infinity is 0 so finally you will get that final potential energy of a particle 
फाइनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ ए पार्टिकल और एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो फाइनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यू आर दैट इज ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय इंफिनिटी जीरो माइनस वन बाय आर मीन्स इट इज माइनस ऑफ जी एम एम डिवाइडेड बाय आर सर दिस विल गिवस अस एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ ए सिस्टीम ऑफ अर्थ एंड मास Earth and object of mass m, Earth of mass capital M, separated by a distance r. Means whenever we are having a system of an object of mass m, Earth of mass capital M, and they are separated by a distance r, then the gravitational potential energy is given by expression U r is equal to minus g m m upon r. Means when object is at a distance r. From the center of the Earth, the gravitational potential energy acquired by that object it is given by expression minus g m m divided by r, minus g m m divided by r. Now you know very well what is that expression for gravitational potential energy? Gravitational potential energy for a system of Earth and object of mass m. Is u equal to minus of g m m divided by r, where r represent the distance of separation between center of Earth and the object of mass small m. Means when Earth and object, Earth of mass capital M and object of mass small m. they are separated by a distance r then the potential energy of this system of object and earth is minus gmm divided by r now let us consider that object is lying on the surface of the earth then what happens to the value of r when object lies on the surface of earth then the initial position or initial potential energy of particle u1 is equal to minus gmm divided by see here object is on earth when object is lying on earth surface then the distance between object and center of earth it reduces to what small r equal to capital r and the corresponding potential energy is minus gmm divided by r this is equation number 1 let that object is lifted to a height h above the surface of earth when object is lifted to a height h above the surface of earth then the distance between that object and the center of the earth if this is the height h then small r becomes equal to r plus h radius of earth plus the height h to which that object is lifted then the new potential energy or final potential energy of object it becomes minus g m m upon now what is the distance of separation between object and center of earth it is r plus h so minus gmm upon r plus h so this is equation number 2 this is the initial potential energy of a system when object is on the surface of earth this is the final potential energy of a system when object of mass small m is lifted to a height h above the surface of earth therefore now the net increase in potential energy net increase in potential energy of the system is always equal to what delta u is equal to final potential energy of system minus initial potential energy of the system what is final potential energy minus g m m upon r plus h minus initial potential energy it is again minus gmm upon r 
सो द नेट इंक्रीज इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डेल्टा यू विच इज इक्वल टू यू टू माइनस यू वन इज इक्वल टू नाउ हियर वॉट यू कैन टेक कॉमन जी एम एम इफ आई टेक जी एम एम एज ए कॉमन देन सी एर माइनस एंड माइनस इट बिकम्स प्लस मीन्स इट इज वन अपॉन आर माइनस वन अपॉन दैट टर्म ऑफ आर प्लस एच सो दैट बिकम्स इक्वल टू जी एम एम सी एर वॉट इज एलसीएम आर इंटू आर प्लस एच आर इंटू आर प्लस एच And here cross multiply R plus H minus R. What is R plus H minus R? It is simply H. So the increase in potential energy is GMM into H upon R plus H. GMM into H upon R plus H. But we know that if G represent acceleration due to gravity. By definition, acceleration due to gravity is gm divided by r square because acceleration due to gravity is independent of mass of object. You know this formula, or this implies that value of gm is equal to g into r square. So you can put gm is equal to g r square. So what you will get? that increase in potential energy increase in potential energy of a system delta u which is equal to u2 minus u1 is equal to this gm it is replaced by gr square into that small m into h upon r into r plus h see here this is equal to can i write m g h m g h now one r get cancelled so in a bracket we are left with r upon r plus h and this is nothing but increase in potential energy when object of mass small m it is lifted from the surface of earth to a height h remember that if value of h that is the height to which that object is lifted is very very small as compared to that of radius of earth then you can have the approximation that r upon r plus h here h is negligible compared to r so r upon r plus h so when we are having this situation r plus h approximately it can be taken as r so r upon r plus h it becomes r upon r or becomes equal to 1 or you can have increase in potential energy u2 minus u1 is equal to mgh so remember the amount of work that must be done while lifting the object of mass small m from the surface of earth to a height h against the gravitational force of attraction exerted by earth then the net increase in the potential energy of the system delta u represent what increase in potential energy of the system is equal to mgh so this is how potential energy it can be expressed in terms of what mgh so mgh always represent the potential energy during the lifting of object of mass m to a height h above the surface of earth against the gravitational force of attraction against the gravitational force of attraction now let us discuss about the concept of gravitational potential you know very well that if we are having a system of earth of mass m and object of mass small m separated by a distance r what is the gravitational potential energy of a system of 
earth of mass m and object of mass small m separated by a distance r it is given as gravitational potential energy u is equal to minus of g m m divided by r gravitational potential energy of system of what earth of mass m and object of mass small m separated by a distance r we can rewrite this expression for gravitational potential energy as the product of factor minus g m divided by r into small m remember here this can be written as v e which is a function of r into m where that factor v e which is a function of r is equal to minus g m divided by r this factor it depends on only the mass of earth and location of object from the center of the earth and this factor it is found to be same for all the object of any mass m situated at a distance r from the center of earth and that object must be bound with the earth by a gravitational force of attraction and this factor which depends on mass of earth and location of object from the center of earth it is known as gravitational potential it is defined as gravitational potential of earth gravitational potential of what earth at a distance r from its center at a distance r from earth center at a distance r from earth's center so if we observe carefully then what we will see that gravitational potential energy u u is what u represent gravitational potential energy u is equal to gravitational potential gravitational potential actually this is gravitational potential of earth gravitational potential multiplied by mass m of an object it means if i will divide both the side by mass m of an object then here we will have gravitational potential because we have to study what is gravitational potential remember gravitational potential of earth it is denoted by a letter v so gravitational potential it is a ratio of gravitational potential energy of system of earth and object of mass m divided by mass m of an object in general in short gravitational potential is gravitational potential energy per unit mass gravitational potential is what gravitational potential energy per unit mass means you can say v is equal to u divided by m gravitational potential is equal to gravitational potential energy per unit mass let us consider that we are having the two different particles in a gravitational field and let v1 and v2 be the gravitational potential at point 1 and point 2 then gravitational potential difference between the two point v2 minus v1 is equal to u2 minus u1 divided by m that is equal to what u2 minus u1 increase in potential energy per unit mass or it is nothing but u2 minus u1 it is work done work done per unit mass or increase in potential energy per unit mass will gives us the gravitational potential difference between any two point in a gravitational field now let us consider the situation where we are having the two particles of masses m1 and m2 and let they are separated by a distance r then the gravitational potential energy 
of system of two particles m1 and m2 separated by a distance r it is u equal to minus g m1 m2 divided by r this can be written as minus of g m1 by r into m2 or it can be minus g m2 divided by r into m1 look at this gravitational potential of earth at a distance r is a minus gm upon r what is minus gm1 upon r represent it will represent gravitational potential of particle of mass m1 at a distance r which is denoted by v1 into m2 similarly minus g m2 upon r minus g m2 upon r it is the gravitational potential of second particle of mass m2 at a distance r which is denoted by v2 v2 into r so u can be written as either v1 into m2 or it can be written as what v2 into m where v1 and v2 they are called gravitational potential at a distance r either due to particle of mass m1 or due to particle of mass m2 so this is all about gravitational potential concept let us come to know what is the escape velocity as you know that when object is thrown into the atmosphere vertically upward from the surface of earth we can throw the object vertically upward from the surface of earth what is our common observation that object will attain a certain height and it will fall back on the surface of earth the height attained by object it depends on what is the velocity with which that object is thrown and it is found that as we go on increasing the initial speed with which object is thrown vertically upward into the atmosphere is that the initial speed of throwing the object into the atmosphere in vertically upward direction goes on increases then the height attained by that object will goes on increases means if the object is thrown with somewhat higher speed that object will attains somewhat greater height but again it will fall back on the surface of earth so go on increasing the initial speed with which object is thrown vertically upward every time the height attained by that object goes on increases remember that earth produces gravitational field to its surrounding so there is a spherical region surrounding to earth where there will be an existence of earth's gravitational field and see here if the velocity with which object is thrown vertically upward is so high so that particle escapes from earth's gravitational field up to this there is earth's gravitational field the velocity with which object is thrown vertically upward is so high so that particle escape earth's gravitational field this is possible only when the height attained by particle or height attained by object it must be infinite then only that object will escape from the earth's gravitational field and under this condition that object will not return back on to the surface of earth so that minimum velocity the minimum velocity the minimum velocity with which the minimum velocity with which the object is thrown vertically upward object is thrown vertically upward vertically upward so that so that it escapes 
so that it escapes from earth's gravitational field from earth's gravitational field is called is called escape velocity is called escape velocity and denoted by ve the minimum velocity with which object is thrown vertically upward so that it escapes from earth's gravitational field is called escape velocity of an object and this is possible only when that object attains a height equal to infinity then only it escapes from earth's gravitational field so let us just calculate what is the value of kinetic energy and potential energy of the object at the initial stage that is when object is on the surface of earth and as well as you find out the kinetic energy and potential energy of the object when it is at infinite distance or when it escapes from earth's gravitational field so as far as on the surface is concerned on the surface of earth and second on or when that object escapes to object escape it escapes from gravitational field of earth it escapes from gravitational field of earth so when object is lying on the surface of earth we know that small r is equal to capital r and when object is escape from earth's gravitational field it means r must be equal to infinity kinetic energy of an object on the surface of earth what is kinetic energy half m v square see here because we are throwing the object vertically upward with a minimum velocity ve known as escape velocity means the kinetic energy of an object is half m v e square where v e represent escape velocity it is the minimum velocity with which object is thrown vertically upward so that it escapes from earth's gravitational field while the potential energy of an object on the surface of earth potential energy on the surface of earth general formula is what for potential energy potential energy is minus of gmm divided by what capital r here because smaller is equal to what capital r so potential energy is equal to minus gmm divided by r so therefore total energy of an object on the surface of earth is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy or this is equal to half m v e square minus of g m m divided by r this is equation number 1 so equation number 1 gives us what is the total energy of an object which is thrown vertically upward with a velocity equal to v e which is the minimum velocity with which when object is thrown vertically upward it will escape itself from earth's gravitational field now when object escapes from earth's gravitational field means at r equal to infinity in order to escape the object from earth's gravitational field it must attains a height equal to what infinity so when r is equal to infinity so kinetic energy see here when object starts moving upward initially what is the kinetic energy half mv e square as object starts moving upward what happens to the kinetic energy it will goes on decreasing because it is continuously acted upon by what earth's gravitational field which will try to pull that object towards the center of the earth so as object starts moving upward its velocity goes on decreases and finally when object reaches a height r equal to infinity its kinetic energy 
इट टोटली बिकम्स इक्वल टू जीरो काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकम्स इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो एंड रिगार्डिंग द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेन इट इज एट इन्फाइनाइट डिस्टेंस और वेन इट स्केप फ्रॉम अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ जी एम एम डिवाइडेड बाय Now in place of that small r, here we have taken it as capital R. Here small r is equal to infinity, so this is also equal to zero. Means when Earth, when object escapes from Earth's gravitational field, its kinetic energy becomes zero, its potential energy becomes zero. Means the total energy of an object when it escapes from Earth's gravitational field is equal to zero. This is equation number two. and according to law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed means whatever may be the total energy of the object on the surface of earth it must be equal to total energy of object when it escapes from earth's gravitational influence so you can equate this to total energy so total energy of an object total energy of an object on the surface of earth it is what Half m v e square minus of g m m divided by r, and that is equal to zero. Or half m v e square is equal to plus g m m divided by r. So this m on two side get cancelled. So therefore, see here v e square is equal to take this two to this side two g m divided by what r. Or V E equal to under root of two G M divided by what R? This will gives us an expression for the escape velocity of an object. Means if any object it is thrown vertically upward with a minimum velocity V E equal to under root of two G M divided by R, that object will escape itself from Earth's gravitational field and it will not return back on the surface of the Earth. on the surface of the earth